Hello there everyone, Spuffles here. I wanted to do an update to my cosplaying with a chronic illness vlog and I wanted to talk a little bit about my health and how I've been doing in the past year and just everything that's been uh, going on in my personal life right now, well my personal health life, so if you're interested please feel free to continue watching my video. Before I go on and I talk about my symptoms though, I just want to let you guys know that if you are suffering from anything similar to what I'm going to be describing, please, please talk to your doctor so you can get all of the necessary tests and you can get um, checked out for anything because if you have anything like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, it can be very, very bad and you definitely want to get that checked out by a gastroenterologist or another trained professional and I really want you guys to live the best life possible so please take care of the life that you are given right now and um, go see your doctor if you have any of the same symptoms that I'm going to be describing. But yeah. I'm not a doctor, so please, please talk to your trained professional doctors about anything that, anything similar to what I will be describing. But uh, thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy my vlog. For those of you who've watched uh, my previous video about cosplaying with chronic illness, you know that I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease a few years ago, and for a while I was in remission, which is great because with Crohn's, when you're in remission, you pretty much feel like you're not sick at all, that you were the way you were before you were diagnosed with a chronic condition, but the thing about remission is that it can slip away so fast, and when it does, sometimes you're just not mentally prepared, and I was not mentally prepared at all when I got out of remission. I went from in remission to out of remission so fast, and it just boggled my mind. Like, one day I was fine, and then the next day I had night sweats, and I couldn't get out of bed because of the fatigue. I had nausea. I was throwing up my medication. I couldn't even keep my birth control pill down or the other medication that my doctor prescribed and it was really scary because I was like what's wrong with me and on top of that um, when you're out of remission with Crohn's sometimes the diarrhea comes back and it's like if you've got that on top of the nausea and the fatigue it's like you can't live normal life and it's it was just so scary which is why I went to my doctor again and I got a bunch of follow-up tests, and I had to do a CT scan, which took forever, by the way, to get authorized by my insurance, because the United States insurance companies are horrible, and they take forever to authorize things, so you're ending up, like, sitting there for weeks upon weeks, waiting for your insurance to okay a procedure so they could check if you're, like, okay or not, which is, uh, pretty crazy, but, um... It was it's just a very scary process, and then I just kept on getting more bad news, and after a while, it was just, it was so mentally draining to me. It was just really hard to process, and thankfully, um, I got some switch-ups to my regimen of, uh, you know, supplements that my doctor wanted me to take, and that helped me out for a while. Um, probiotics were such a godsend to me. Like, thank you so much, so much. The probiotics helped me a lot, and while physically I was feeling better, um, I had some more tests done, and the results of those tests, which I got a few weeks ago, they said that my Crohn's went from mild to moderate to severe, which means that I am going to have to start on a new medication, which is just... It's very scary to me because my old medication, which was Pentasa, it is not a steroid medication, so the side effects of Pentasa aren't really that drastic, but when you switch to a biologic steroid medication like Humira or Remicade, the side effects can get really scary, and also the um, administration method is injection. Um, with the Remicade, it's an IV drip, which isn't so bad for me since I've had a few IV drips now, or like, you know, an IV for a procedure that I had to get done, you know, for Crohn's disease, but um, Humira, frankly, scares the shit out of me. Like, 
you have to self-inject either in your thighs or your stomach and I've read online how painful it is like not the needle itself the needle is fine I've had so many needles in me like that doesn't phase me anymore but like I heard that the medication itself feels like a bee sting because they have citrus citric acid in the um the formula so it's like you're injecting citric acid along with the medication into yourself so it really stings and there's some there's some pretty bad stories online and I won't lie I am very very scared about it and also I'm not sure if I can use the pen the Humeric pen um, because I'm allergic to latex and some of the medication they have like a latex coating on the outside of the pen that holds the needle so I'm gonna have to talk to my doctor about that but I am just really scared and if it's not the side effects it's like just taking the medication itself it's just I have to mentally prepare myself and I don't know if I'm ready for that but I know I'm gonna have to do something because my doctor said that I have the two options of either starting on a Humira or a different biologic medication or going through surgery to get part of my uh, colon or intestines removed depending on which area of my body is the problem area. We have to go over all of my charts again and the CT scan and the CT enteroscopy which I'm supposed to be getting hopefully soon whenever my insurance authorizes it I'm gonna be getting it so it's just Frankly, it's pretty frightening, so I am I'm not looking forward to seeing my doctor again, but I know I'm going to have to get it done, and I'm just really scared, so I just wanted to um, share my experiences and the update on my health because, you know, there are other guys out there who are going through the same thing. I know you guys are also scared, and you're also frightened about your disease, and... You know, when when you get a condition, it's just, it's very mind-boggling. Like, honestly, I was not prepared to be sick when I started college and then just coming out of college and then having all of these health issues. It was just, frankly, very, very scary. So, I just wanted to do a video talking about this. Um... You know, you guys out there, I will definitely be an advocate for you if you guys want to come to me and talk to me about your own symptoms, about how you're feeling, about your chronic illnesses, feel free to reach out to me because we're a community. Like, if you're a cosplayer, it doesn't matter where you live, we're all part of the cosplay community and I want to support you guys. Um, we did start up our Spoonie cosplayer group, so if you're interested in becoming a member of that, uh, feel free to go to the description below and click on the link. It is for all cosplayers who have any kind of chronic condition, whether it be a physical condition or a mental condition, so uh, feel free to check that out if you're interested. Um, I definitely want to, you know, just open myself up and immerse myself in the community and just talk to you guys. And if I can help even one person who's suffering from something similar to what I'm suffering from, then, you know, that makes it all worthwhile. So, j guys, just please reach out to me if you want to talk about any kind of health issues it's a lot easier when you have people to talk to about it than rather than just keep it all inside and you're just super anxious all the time about it and whew, all that kind of stuff but anyways please guys take care of yourselves and know that your illness does not define who you are it it you are you an illness is just one part of that but you are just perfect the way you are. It doesn't matter what kind of conditions you have. Just do the best you can. Put everything you can into your work, whether it be cosplay or photography or writing or theater or anything. Just put your all into it and give your best because that's all we can really do.
But thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, take care of yourselves, guys. And please feel free to reach out to me, and I will help in whatever ways I can. But thank you, guys.